Hello students, in this video we'll give another example of computing the derivative of a variable with respect to an independent variable using the chain rule. We're going to consider the following tree configuration, so let's consider this configuration. Let's consider w, which will be a function of x, so w is a function of x, it's a function of y, and it's a function of z, so w is the dependent variable. And let's suppose that x is a function of u and v. Let's suppose that y is a function of u, z is a function of v, u is a function of s and t, v is a function of s and t, u is a function of s and t, v is a function of s and t. That s is a function of a and b, a and b, and t is just a function of b. s is a function of a and b, so a and b. t is a function just of b. s is a function of a and b, t is just a function of b. S is a function of A and B, and T is a function of B. I would like, so this is my configuration, my functional dependence. So clearly, at this level, X and Y are independent variables. At this level, U and V are independent variables. At this level, S and T are independent variables. And at this level, A and B are independent variables. S and T depend on A and B. U and V depend on S and T. X and Y depend on U and V, and W depends on X and Y. So W depends all the way down on this level B. So what we'd like to do now is I'd like to find, let's find, partial w, partial b, okay? So I need to find every branch of this tree that goes from w to b. So our objective, our goal, is to find every branch, every branch going from w to b. All right, so let's do it. So here's one way I can go. I can go from w to x, from x to u, from u to t, and from t to b. That's one way we can do it. I missed the s first, so we can do that one also. Let's do that guy also. I can go from w to x to u to s to uh, or a b there, so we gotta go to b. So let's go to b, so let's erase that guy and go all the way to b. Good, so I wanna go to b. s to b. So let's write those first two terms. So what will this mold the pink term over here be? It's going to be what? So partial w, partial b. So we're going to have partial w, partial w, partial b will be. Let's look at this first trajectory over here. I can go from w to x. So partial w, partial x. And I go from x to u, partial x, partial u. Then I can go from u to s, partial u, partial s. And I can go from s to b. So partial s, partial b. This green trajectory is what? So the green trajectory over here is gonna be partial w, partial x, I'm still on the x branch, that's the, the node. Then from x to u, partial x, partial u. And then from u to t, partial u, partial uh, t. And now t itself is just a single variable function of b. So I'm just gonna put a dt d, b, and that's just an ordinary derivative because t is the function of a single variable b, so I can put an ordinary derivative there, okay? So now how else can I get to b? Well, there's two other ways to do it. So let's look at this next trajectory over here. I can go from w to x to v to s to b over there. So that will be partial w, so plus, of course. Everything's concatenated with the plus. Partial w, partial x, then partial x, partial v, partial x, partial v, and then partial v, partial s, partial v, partial s, and then partial s, partial b. I can follow this second trajectory over here, so let's do that one next. Let's go over here to this blue trajectory. I can go from w to x to v to t to b. So w, x, t to v to b, so then plus partial w, partial x. Then I can go from x to v, partial x, partial v. I can go from v to t, partial v, partial t, and then dt, d, b. Excellent. Now, what can we do? We can go to this trajectory. I can go from W down to Y, from Y down to U, from U down to S, and from S down to B. That's another path we can follow. So I can do plus partial W partial Y. And then Y is a function just of U, so I can do a dy du. It's only a function of U, so I have dy du. It's an ordinary derivative over there. And then partial U partial S, partial U partial S. And then partial s, partial b, partial s, partial b. I can also do this trajectory over here. I can go from w 
down to the Y, from Y to U, from U to T, and from T to B. So we'll have another term, we'll have a plus partial W, partial Y. Again, Y is just a function of U, so I have a dy du, dy du. And then we can go from U to T, so I have partial U, partial T. And then partial T, partial B. So T is just a function of one variable B, so I can do a dt, dt, db. There we have it, that's the other way. Now I can go with the last trajectories over here. We can go from W to Z, from Z to V, from V to S, and from S to B. So let's do that one. Then we have plus partial W, partial Z. And then partial Z, well, Z is just a single variable function of V, so I can do a DZ dV. And then V can go to S, so I'll do partial V, partial S. And then partial S, partial B, partial S, partial B. And there's one final trajectory you can do. It's the last trajectory we have over here. I can go from W to Z. I can go from Z to T, to Z to V rather, so Z to V. From V to T and from T to B. So let's do that last one. So I'm going to go from W, partial W, partial Z. Z is a single variable function of V, so D, Z, D, V. Then I can go from V to T, so partial V, partial T, partial V, partial T. And then T is just a single variable function of V, so I'm going to have a DT, DB. Now notice in each of these terms, there's eight possible ways we can get from W all the way to B. So let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ways to do it. So if there's eight Bs in the bottom of the tree, it's going to correspond to eight terms over here. And so for every level of the tree, it's going to give you one sort of term of your chain rule. So if I go from what, from this, this part of the branch over here, will give me what, one, uh, one single derivative term. Then I have another derivative term, another derivative term, another derivative term. So the depth of the tree will determine how many factors you have over here. And finally, if you just look at this, if you were just simply trying to imagine by cancellation, you would see that the x's would cancel here, the u's would cancel here, and the s's would cancel here, and you get a partial w, partial b. The x's cancel, the u's cancel, the t's cancel, you get a partial w, partial b. The x's cancel, the v's cancel, the s's cancel, partial w, partial b. So all of them, if you follow the cancellation rules, should end up with, if you could pretend that you could cancel, you would have a partial w, and then with the derivative respect to b on the bottom. And that's how we conclude the chain rule using trees. Thank you very much.